Lenovo's fifth generation of its ThinkPad X1 Carbon recommends itself as the perfect traveler's laptop. With its lightweight carbon fiber body, relatively speedy performance, and exceptional 11.8 hour battery life. But you'll pay for the privilege of toting it around. A decent configuration will run you just under $2,000. It has a 14 inch HD display that's bright, non reflective, and quite readable, with an embedded webcam on the top bezel. The company will be releasing a quad HD version later this year, which I suspect will be harder on the battery. It offers a decent set of connections for a system this size and purpose. Two USB-C connectors, one of which can hook up to a display, two USB 3 Type-A, a full-size HDMI, and a mini Ethernet connector, plus a headphone jack. I don't love the keyboard, but it's not bad. The concave chiclet keys do feel nice on your fingers, and they have a decent amount of travel. Lenovo's UltraNav system of buttons, thumbstick, and touchpad offers a lot of choices to your preferred method of navigation, but the touchpad's a little smaller than we've seen lately to make room for all of it, plus the fingerprint sensor. It's got a combination escape and function lock button, which I really like. That way you can choose whether the top row of buttons act as hardware shortcuts for volume, brightness, and so on, or whether the function keys are in effect. And given the awful placement of the function shift button, right where touch typists reach for the control key for operations like, oh, cutting and pasting and navigating text, it's great that there's an option in the Lenovo control panel to swap them. I went a little nuts until I discovered that.